So tell me, has this ever happened to you? <sighs> All right, time to relax. Why don't we watch some Netflix, shall we? Okay, hey s let's watch some Netflix. Some lights didn't respond. Check the home app for more details. It again, let's see what's going on here. Oh, what the f Then stick around and hopefully we'll get you all squared away. Greetings Internet, if you're new here, my name is Dustin with My HomeKit Home and we're bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from product reviews to news to how to's just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. While HomeKit is our chosen platform for smart home automation, it is by no means a perfect platform. Sometimes we do need to roll up our sleeves and get a little bit dirty trying to figure out what's going on when we have devices that are not responding. And so this video will start a series on troubleshooting in HomeKit, beginning with how to restart and reset the HomePod. Jumping into the home app, we'll long press on our home pod. We'll go to the gear icon at the bottom right to get into the settings. We'll scroll all the way down until we see reset home pod. We'll select the first option, restart home pod, and we'll start to see our home pod actually reboot itself. We can see that now the icon shows that it is restarting and this takes about 30 seconds more or less for the home pod to kind of do its thing and, and reset you won't get any audio notifications that this is happening but we will get a you know the standard kind of siri thinking animation Now factory resetting the home pod is a little bit more involved, but not by very much. So we'll go back to the same place as we did with restarting the home pod, except this time when we tap a reset, we'll actually tap a remove accessory. And as you can see, it disappears from our home kit. Then we'll unplug the device for five seconds. Three, two, one, and then we'll plug it back in. Now, once we plug it back in, we'll go back over to our HomePod and we'll long press on the top of the device for another five seconds here. And once we've gotten that done, it will give us this prompt. Your HomePod is about to reset. Keep pressing until you hear three beeps. And that's all there is to it. As soon as it goes through its process and works out all of the kinks and actually factory resets itself, we'll actually, if you have your phone nearby, you'll get this screen. Now, if you would like a written guide to how to restart and reset the HomePod, you'll find a link in the description box to the blog over at myhomekithome.com where you can find that information. Also below the description box, you'll find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at myhomekithome. If you found today's video useful, you can let us know by giving us a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in more HomeKit related content, go ahead and click on my face. Now, if you want more HomePod related topics, you can go ahead and click on this playlist here. Or if you want to check out one of our other videos, click down here. Well, the sun is setting on another one, folks. I do thank you for watching and until I see you in the next one, this has been Dustin with my HomeKit.